And that trip when I saw the pain of my grandparents and I saw, I saw it like on them more than I'd ever seen it before. It just, it just seemed more real. 50 years ago, or something that we learned about in history class, seemed like so long ago. But when I was standing there, I knew it wasn't. It, it really wasn't. He showed us, when you went back on the bus, he showed us the crematorium by Auschwitz that was not found. The crematorium that I didn't go no more. Right. I wanted to go there. There said. was nothing there. It was knocked down. But there were ashes. There was dirt. And he said, look at the dirt. All the dirt has a white layer on top, and that's because it's covered with the ashes. And if you pick up the dirt and you go through it, you can find bones, pieces of bones. When I was younger, the stories were fascinating. And it's not like they talked about it all the time, but it would come up and there would be reference to it, or you'd overhear conversations with their peers and so on. Uh, and I found it interesting, but as the... Um, uh, as I became older and, and, and the scope of it really hit me, um, I just can't deal with it. I have to literally walk out of a movie or um, close a book. I just, it's just wrenching to actually uh, imagine that this actually occurred to people that I know or my age. Or, you know, you, you relate to it differently as it could have been you. It made me feel threatened. It, it like hit me personally, like right there, 50 years later, I was intimidated by it. It was an attack on me too. If they'd succeeded, I wouldn't be standing there. I wouldn't be sitting here right now. If my grandparents had died, you know, or if more Jews had died, what would be left? It was all aimed at my grandparents, it was all aimed at me. It was done so I wouldn't be here.